Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about the new grenades in Deep Rock Galactic. I know it's not out for console just yet, it, it'll be out in just a few days, but I did hold a couple of polls for the last couple of weeks. And uh, one I just put up the other day that was asking, how do you like the new grenades? Which one is your favorite? Before this, I set up one about three weeks ago, at least from today of filming this, before even the beta was out, asking which of the new grenades were you the most um, looking forward to? Which one caught your eye the most? Because we had the trailers for them out. They were releasing them one week at a time, which they always do for this, to tease out the new stuff. And uh, I put up polls on each of them. I actually couldn't remember some of the names at the time of making that, so some of these aren't exactly what they uh, are. Anyway, the four choices were the uh, Rippers, Saw Blades, Blade Grenade, Lawnmower, whatever you want to call it, that Driller got. You, you know, you throw these down, the blades run out, and they hit stuff. Second one was the multi-shot thing that I named it on Gunner. Or this is the Lead Burster, the, the gun grenade. Shredders for the Engineer, the SSG. Uh, or the boomerang for scout and out of these ones they were all very close overall the uh, most votes went to the multi-shot gunner grenade being the most looked forward to at 33 percent uh second was the saw blades at 30 percent engineers uh shredders were at 20 percent and the boomerang was at 17 percent i was kind of surprised the boomerang didn't get as much attention maybe because it was one of the first things that was revealed i think it was actually the first grenade that was revealed and the gunner's grenade was the last one revealed so people just remembered that one the most uh, maybe it was just because out of the spectacle, the lead burster looked the most spectacle-like, which it absolutely is. <laughs> well, usually sometimes the saw blades can be too. All of these are very close. And then with the updated poll asking which one people like the most, there was actually a pretty big margin <laughs> and it really almost flips the popularity contest in the other direction, oddly enough. The most liked one, at least out of these votes was the SSG shredder drones that you throw out at 47%. That's a pretty big margin right there. Although I think I would also agree saying that the SSG is probably the best grenade that we got out of the new ones. It's pretty consistent. It's very easy to use. You, there was no issues with it really upon release. There wasn't like the massive friendly fire damage that the lead burster or the rippers had. There wasn't kind of the weird interactions that the boomerang had where the boomerang was a little bit uh, iffy at certain times, or at least some people, uh, said that they had some issues with it, but nobody really seemed to have any problems with the SSGs, uh, other than accidentally throwing them out. And the SSGs actually got nerfed during the beta. They were doing more damage than they do currently. Currently they do eight damage a hit and in the beta they did 15 damage a hit so they could one shot swarmers. The second most popular grenade was the boomerang at 23%, then the lead burster at 16% and the rippers, oddly enough, at 14%. Although again, Aside from the SSG, all these are pretty close to one another in terms of percentages. Uh, my favorite out of these new grenades is actually probably the lead bursters, even though I put them in C tier during the, the tier list that I made of the grenades not too long ago. Uh, and I still kind of stand by that. They're still kind of wonky. They're kind of strange. They don't always work out the way you want them to. They're kind of finicky. And your other grenades are a little bit more consistent for things like crowd control. That being said, though, the lead bursters are the most spectacle grenade that Gunner has. Probably even more spectacle than the cluster grenades, which is kind of interesting. I still really enjoy them. And I put this out just after the new patch came out. So that might also reflect some of the percentages here. Because I know people disliked the friendly fire damage that the Rippers had and that has been fixed. It's no longer the 110% damage where you can two-shot anybody besides Gunner if they're at full health, which was kind of insane. I, I don't know why it did that much damage. Some people would like it to at least be that way back so that it's the most Gunner gr or mo most uh, Driller grenade. During the beta, there was plenty of times where I downed myself a lot trying different stuff with the Rippers and down friends a lot and got downed by friends quite a bit. So... Uh, that probably should have been fixed. Since they fixed the lead burster too, I haven't really noticed accidentally downing teammates or downing myself like I did before. Uh, that was kind of an issue with them, so I think they're a lot more favorable than they once were. And, you know, looking at these, I can see the SSG being picked more than the other weapons or the other grenades here. Boomerang is kind of fun. I actually really like it a lot. I like that you get eight of them. I like the stun duration. I like that it puts electricity on enemies, but I wish it had a little bit something more. Maybe if you just converted its damage to melee, I think that would kind of solve all the problems with it because then even though it's not doing a whole lot of damage, it's doing a weakness to basically everything and it could synergize well with something like Vampire giving you another option. Lead Burster and Ripper, I think, are fine where they're at. It's just that they're kind of situational grenades, similar to quite a few of the Driller or Gunner grenades. 
that's more of an issue, I guess, for Gunner because Gunner doesn't really have a clear like winning grenade. All of them are good in their own situation where like Driller kind of does since they have the throwing axes now. Um, also, their frag grenades got buffed or HE grenades got buffed, which is pretty nice. But I, I still think axes are going to reign supreme on Driller just because you get vampire synergy, you get eight of them, you get high single target damage, you get... Uh, bonus utility and clearing up stuff you can basically have infinite axes too if you low roll them on enemies so you can just keep killing enemies but not do enough damage to actually use up the axe so there's just a whole lot going for them and then with engineer there was always kind of a reason to pick any of the grenades depending on what you wanted uh, if you wanted to have more utility you could just take lures because they're always going to be a safe choice they're going to work on every mission they have bonus energies since like nemesis came out so it works against him they're good for reses plasma bursters have always been like your go-to offensive option and now you kind of have another offensive option with the ssg Plasma Bursters do more burst damage, but SSG can do potentially more consistent damage over time. And SSGs, you don't have to worry about accidentally blowing yourself up or blowing up teammates. That was kind of the main downside of having Plasma Bursters. And then you always had your uh, Proxy Mines, which Proxy Mines were great for setting up areas and defending a zone or like kiting enemies through it to potentially cause a lot of DPS. And they still kind of fill that role. So I think Engineer got the best out of this because all of their grenades already filled whatever role you kind of wanted them to um that's not really a good way of putting it is it they already filled a role but there were still more roles that they could have uh, as well as i just really like the thematic theme of engineer where they've just been piecing together things to use uh, against all of the bugs as the seasons have been going on i'm really happy with all the new grenades how are you guys feeling about them uh, now that, well, this is out and the season's been out for a little bit, uh, console players, uh, get back to me in a couple of days. I'm sure you guys will enjoy using up the grenades because I certainly have. I found all of them to be really fun and the changes, at least the change to the HE grenade, uh, definitely feels much better. Try that one out and see how you like it.